This is a Honda EU1000i uh, generator. I'm working on stripping it down. I just bought it. Um, it does not start. Uh, it has oil all over the place. Um, so I'm going to kind of tear it down and see what, uh, you know, how, how, you know, what's wrong with it and stuff. Um, I, unfortunately, I pulled the spark plug out um, and I don't have a compression gauge with that small of a fitting. I don't know if you can see on the camera there. The plug is really got a lot of dirt, like not carbon buildup, just like dirt. Um, so I suspect there's probably something majorly wrong with the motor. Um, so I'm going to see if I can pop it apart and peek inside. And if I have to get it rebuilt or whatnot, I can buy all the parts and do that. So, All right. So uh, I've got it halfway apart. Um, there are screws in the top handle you have to remove, Phillips head. Um, there's a screw bolt that goes through here and here on the other side mine was missing um, you take the four Phillips head screws out of the front cover there's one on each side as well um, there's one I think there's another one under the side here somewhere um, but basically you just take the Phillips head screws out and any of the other screws you can find on the outside of the cover and it should start to pop apart um, you can see I got the wiring for the uh, uh, electrical here. Um, my outlet's busted. That's like 30 bucks from Honda. I can replace it. Um, this is the computer. Um, so that's pretty much what's inside of it. I'll show you more as I get more of it apart. So as you can see I've gotten the motor out. Um, now it's time to start the disassembly process and strip the components off of it um, so I can get down to the block and take a look. Um, never worked on one of these before. Um, so it's kind of been a learning experience, uh, but I got it cheap. So worst case scenario, I sell parts off of it and go buy a new one. Um, but I was told it spins but it or cranks over, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't catch. So I'm going to have to take a look at it. Um, like I said in another video, earlier in the video, I uh, don't have the adapter to put my compression gauge down there. Um, I do, I can feel compression when I put my finger over it and pull the uh, uh, cable, but it's not a lot, not what I would think it would be, um, but we'll see what happens. So this, uh, we'll call it a plenum, uh, goes on the carburetor right here. Um, there are two metal spacers, one on each shank. Um, they're held on with eight millimeter bolts. And uh, this is the carburetor itself. It's got, it's very oily. Um, I bet you you're going to find there's some rings or something bad in here or something has had a catastrophic failure. So, um, got it a good way apart, but uh, still got plenty of other ways, to, plenty of ways to go. So, this hose goes on there like that. It goes through this channel down here. Uh, this hose goes on like that to the carburetor. So I've got the uh, carburetor off. There are a couple of spacers that go behind it. There's this green, probably gasket, and black plastic spacer. So you want to make sure you get those into your bags of goodies. Um, I find separating all my parts into bags with a permanent marker labeling what they are and where they came from, taking pictures and video will help me. All right, I've got the valve cover off of the Honda EU 1000i uh, 1.8 liter, uh, excuse me, 1.8 horsepower um, Honda motor. Um, you can see the valves are going up and down, and I can see the piston. Well, you, you guys probably can't on the camera, but I can see it going up and down. So I'd say this motor is probably okay mechanically. Um, I don't see any type of oil pan or anything that I can pull off easily to... Uh, look inside. I may be able to stick my uh, boroscope camera inside the dipstick tube here, but uh, basically wanted to uh, get it apart and make sure everything was okay. So basically the issue is probably a control issue, um, is my guess. So guys, I removed what appears to be the low uh, oil level sensor, uh, three 8 millimeter bolts, and you can actually see right up into the uh, crankcase here, hopefully. Um, connecting rod is nice and tight. Um, everything looks the way it's supposed to be, so I'm going to clean it up, uh, button it up, and put it all back together and see if I can figure out why she doesn't run.